Hey, it's Yoe with a short video on how to do scheduled meetings with Crankwheel. So uh, let's take a look at that. So let's say uh, I want to schedule a meeting with some folks. Uh, what I do is uh, the first step is to open up Crankwheel like this and then click the schedule a meeting button. Now I can leave the name of the meeting just like this or I can give it a descriptive name. Let's, let's call it team meeting and then click create link. At this step, uh, it's optional whether to include phone conferencing details or not. You could skip the details and just have type yourself uh, a note into the meeting invite telling your participants that you will call them on the phone, for example. Uh, but if you want to use the uh, our partner provided uh, phone conferencing service, just click here to include the phone conferencing details and you'll be prompted to sign up and it's a one click sign up uh, if you haven't signed up already. And that's provided by conferencecall.co.uk. So the text you see in this box is a block of text that's suitable for pasting into a uh, meeting invitation or an email that you're sending. So all you do is you just copy this block of text and then you click done. And then you would go, either you would send an email or you would go to your calendaring software, um, Outlook, or in, in my case, I use Google Calendar. So let's see what it would look like there. I create an event and I can give it the, the same name if I, I, I like, team meeting. And in here in the description, I paste the block of text that I had from Crankwheel. And you'll see it has a link here to view the screen share. It also has the details on how to phone into the phone conference. Okay, if you're using Google Calendar, Calendar it's pretty important to also remove this part, the ha Google Hangouts link, because otherwise it can be a little bit confusing uh, for people, whether they're supposed to use the Google Hangouts link, something that Google automatically adds to any calendar um, invitation you create, or whether to use the Crankwheel link. So if you remove that, it's going to be less confusing. Okay, now you would just save that. You would add your guests, add the book, the rooms you need, and so forth, and then save the event. <clears throat> uh, but let's look at how this would actually work. So you, each of your participants would re receive a calendar invitation with all of these details, and at the time of the of the meeting, they would click this link to join the meeting. And let's look at what that will show them if you haven't started screen sharing. Essentially, it'll tell them, you know, the presenter hasn't started sharing their screen, but here's the dial in info if you need to dial the phone conference. So they would do that. On your end, as the presenter, you will also dial the phone conference when the meeting should start. You can find all the phone conference details down here at the bottom of your Crankwheel control panel, um, <clears throat> the global dial-in number, your participant pin for meetings that you're hosting. And if you click this here, global dial-in, you'll also get a full list of the, the 72 different dial-in numbers for different countries around the world. So that's how you would dial in and they would dial in here. Now, as soon as you actually start uh, sh screen sharing something, let's, Let's just share the Crankwheel program window just to share something. And you'll see that on the viewer end or the participant end, there this is the, the experience it changes to. And, and this is what they would see immediately if they had now tried to join the meeting. Now you'll see there's a number here, 43. <clears throat> and they'll, they're prompted to tell you this number. So they'll tell you that number over the phone conference. You'll see them down here. And you'll see that it says team meeting right here, which is the say this will show the same name that you gave the meeting. So they'll say 43, you'll say accept. And now they're joined into your screen share and they're seeing your screen. Um, <clears throat> now, uh, if, if another participant tries to use that same link, sorry, uh, here. Join. Go. Then they will they will be able to tell you forty one. You'll need to click add more viewers. Sorry, I have the wrong window open. You'll need to click add more viewers here. You'll see forty one, and you can accept. So each person that joins, they tell you a number, you accept them there. You can also just blindly accept them without them actually telling you the number. So that is how you run a scheduled meeting using Crankwheel. And uh, as, soon, as soon as you end the meeting, just as in a regular screen share, uh, they will go to the end of meeting page, whatever that is. 
<clears throat> this could be your own page if you've configured that for your company. So that's how you run a scheduled meeting using Crankwheel. I hope that's all clear. If not, please email us at uh, support at crankwheel.com with any questions you might have. Thank you very much.